I've heard Rupert Spire, which I somehow always manage to quote, say that um, when attention is retracted, it automatically rests in its source. So the retraction of attention is essentially the elimination of attention. Attention itself disappears when you trace it back to where it came from. And yes, at first, when you trace attention back, you're like, oh, what? I feel like I'm in my head. But there, there's attention moving again. Attention has placed itself on the head. So release that. We want to suspend, and it's quite advanced, this, but we want to suspend attention on all form. And although attention by its nature can only cling to form, it cannot cling to what you are. So again, don't expect to be able to move your attention from the chaos of your life to the beauty of your formless nature. If, if it appears like attention has moved to true nature, it's only because your attention is, is focused on a manifestation of your true nature, like a feeling of peace. But that's still not you. And that's what, what you mentioned. That's where people get confused. They think, I lost it because... I was briefly there, and then before I noticed, my attention actually didn't stay retracted. It went back into the feeling of peace that this glimpse gave me. It didn't stay in its place. It didn't stay put. And then it happens so subtly that we think, oh, I've lost my true nature. We equate true nature with the symptoms of true nature or the experiences associated with it. And this is, again, the power of attention. The attention is what either holds on to realization or you appear to lose it. And ironically enough, the way you hold on to, so the way you sustain realization, is by releasing focus on your realization. Because, once again, if you put focus on your realization, you're not putting focus on realization. You're putting focus on something in the manifest again. So you're subtly moving back into experience and you're going back into identification and nothing in the manifest can last. Nothing. No sense of peace, no sense of no self. Any sense, anything you can put your attention on is not permanent. So again, how you sustain a realization is by not focusing on any of its byproducts. And you can do this easily by acting as a sort of spectator, um, which we hear often, we hear about witness to your experience. When you have a Kundalini awakening, when you have a glimpse, step back, maintain the retraction of your attention. Do not give attention to this blissful experience that's accompanying it. And it's difficult to do, right? It's hard. We just want to jump into, oh, this is so amazing. I want to tell everyone I'm enlightened and I finally saw it. But as best you can, maintain that, like that static integrity of attention, so to speak, because of its power. And um, this I've practiced, so I know, it, I know it to be true. I used to glimpse stuff and lose it all the time. And I only stopped losing it when I stopped focusing on what I'm losing. So when I stop, and people also say this in the way of stop grasping, but I feel like that's not quite accurate enough. Because when I tried to not grasp, I was like, okay, not grasping, okay, I'm not grasp, okay. You know, but you're subtly kind of waiting for this to either stay or go, or you want some kind of reassurance that it's not going to go away, and you're fearful of it. So, you know, just right now, just decide when that happens, I'm not going to put my attention on it. And it sounds like, I don't know, it sounds a bit dishonorable. <laughs> like I'm not going to not gonna pay attention to any of the glimpses. But it's not quite what I mean. You'll see, you can't really resist. But there's something that stays put. So you're going to have a kundalini awakening. And you're going to be super blissful. But just always keep one foot in the door. Always keep your attention semi-static um, because as long as you go back out, you're being swayed again. And then very soon, identification takes its place again and identifies as the one that had the glimpse. And that's all through the power of attention. <laughs>